Batman, the Telltale series. That was a cool intro, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty excited about this game, of course. Um, so let's keep playing. Yeah. <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. I think the reporter's voice might be Elena from Uncharted. Maybe. Seemed seemed familiar. So he's in an, is he going back to his bat cave? Mm -hmm. Thank God that's over. <laughs> I can just retreat it's to me. my bat cave. It's me and my yellow lights come on. Guess who's bat? Bat again. There we go. Episode one. I like that. That's cool. In case you didn't know where we were. <laughs> Realm of Shadows. And I said it out loud in case you guys can't read. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. With breaking and entering incidents of... What is this? ...over last year. Remember... Tickets to the theater that his parents had. Yeah, but why was it out? Breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break in at City Hall. The notorious Batman was <laughs> on the scene. They got a good picture. Failed to secure the stolen items. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Here we go. Alright, so we got, uh, let's see. Retrieve the data drive. Taking a look at what we have here. Gotham feed. Da Dent. <laughs> no. DA Dent pressures mayor to decry vigilantes. Hey, but I'm one of those. Alright, so. Hold on. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything. Let's watch this. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. Yeah. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. <laughs> the body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmone was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn. Yikes. Causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. All right, well... Gotta look up what a capo is. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the <laughs> he, writers. He, he took a pretty long pause there. To contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other oh my God. weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. Police don't have any suspects at the time. My goodness, lots of crime going on. Capo is a captain in the mafia. Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half prison, half mental hospital to 15 this what? year. What? 15 escapees? Today, but all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44 year old twin brother and sister Leon and Valerie Muldoon, should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call police immediately. Or Batman, call Batman. He takes care of this stuff. Mayor Hill's God so beautiful act takes effect today. Crooked Making Hill. For <laughs> to tenants immediately and without cause. The new law was created in order to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve the city's aging buildings. Some of which have been occupied by families for decades. Get those families out of there. Come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the street. Don't worry. It probably isn't anything you did wrong. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. You can believe it. Now you can't even trust the valet. <laughs> More on this after the break. All right, please take a real break. Oh my god. His election violence in Gotham has skyrocketed. And when he was presented with legislation that would have dismantled organized crime in the city, he vetoed it. 
killing Gotham's chance for a safer future. Oh what God. a dickhead. Just keep zooming in. Because the rumors of Hill's connections to some of Gotham's most notorious mafia families are true. Dun dun dun. We don't need another. Hey, just keep zooming race. in. We need a crime fighting hero. Nice. With over 200 successful convictions. District Attorney Harvey Dent just might be the hero Gotham needs. But he can't save our city alone. He needs your help. He believes that together we can make a Wow. <laughs> Gotham's crime. Look, look, he took my slogan. With you. Vote for Harvey Dent and elect a real crime fighter to All right. Gotham's How can we stop watching this? <laughs> right click to back out. All right, over here we got some movie tickets. Let's look at them. There they are. All right. <laughs> that was a bad trip down memory lane for Bruce Wayne. Uh, so we got the data drive, but we also got the data port. Let's look at the data port, see what this is all about. That computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. All right. Well, let's put it in the back computer then. There we go. Fell off a building for this. <laughs> well, to be fair, she was shocked by you. It wasn't really that that made her fall off the building. Uh, so yeah, let's put it in the data port. Perfect. I'm glad I got the right data ports. Who builds this stuff? Like, I mean, does anyone question it? <laughs> Alfred, this still has Doritos oh, dust on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who builds their suits? Who who does repairs? Uh, oh yeah, in yeah, here? Lucius, Lucius, that's right. Damn, encrypted. Ah, oh, it's encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet, I always find you here. It's the best part. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house. You know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sounds good. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. <laughs> Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Or did... Let me try a different angle. Whoa, what it's is this? Hack. Oh, wow. Cool. Got like this augmented reality map here. What do I do? So purple looks of interest, right? Mm -hmm. What do I click on? I'm trying the different angle, right? This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Ooh, I see what you're saying. Mm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Oh, is that tea? Uh, what is the that? The same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. <laughs> but you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left. Including Mr. Falcone. Before yeah. the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. Yeah, for real. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? <laughs> it can again, Bruce. It's gotta get dead oh, to people office. like this cat woman aren't helping. She's Is she fine. New to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. All right, let's please don't lock me out of the codex. <laughs> Here we go, checking the lookup info for the cat burglar. That's her right there. Found her. <laughs> Easy. Uh, new criminal on the scene. So okay, in this in this little Telltale universe, Catwoman is new uh, mm -hmm. to the scene of things. I wish I knew more about her. I wish I could take her on a date. Now what happens? 
Let's see. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. <laughs> you can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. <laughs> I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries. So did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I've had to cover from mysterious injuries before. You've been lucky. Or I'm just a really good liar. <laughs> a necessary evil in your line of work, I suppose. Though I hope you change careers someday. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Business card. Snitch. All right. Park, 6 a.m. Oz. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in great school. Who's Oz? Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Guess we'll find out. Oswald, however, took that role more literally oh. than you. Like, like the penguin Dishonorable Oz? Mm -hmm. Discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Is that an expression? <laughs> Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but it was the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll True. be careful, Alfred. He's getting a clue. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Oh. There's a, a painting of a park. <laughs> so, okay, Cobblepot Park. That's a so, mouthful. So yeah, this is the penguin, o Oswald Cobblepot, I believe, is his full name. They made him into a sexy penguin. <laughs> what is a billionaire doing just walking down the street? Someone's gonna notice me, try to attack me. Where are you, Oz? He could have put on some sweatpants or something. Yeah. There's a recent newspaper. Wayne shuns Falcone. Yeah, buddy, that was me. <laughs> is, it, is that you over there, buddy? Is that him, you think? Graffiti. I'm gonna go look at that man. I'm just like, huh. Graffiti's hmm. here. Yo. You can look at the uh the the thing above the park entrance. Oh yeah, entrance sign. Cobble pot park. Like you said, flows. Where you can get the best cobble pot in there. Alright. I'm in the park. And it looks like a freaking <laughs> What homeless person. Exam I'm going to examine the homeless person. Hello, homeless Hello. person. I'm examining you. <laughs> I look down on your type. This one's a beaut. Give him right. some money. Give him some change. You're probably going to get robbed for that, though. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'd imagine. No he's worries. Got, he's got pennies. Get him. <laughs> Mobbed by a child gang. Give me quarters. Burning barrel. Look at the burning barrel. Yep, that is a burning barrel. I'm warming my hands. I'm role playing as a homeless guy. LARPing. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's why I go to public parks. <laughs> oh, just got my expensive phone. Running late, meet you by the statue. Great. Great. The statue. There's the statue, but no Oz. Well, he said he was running late. That would explain it. 
All right. Suddenly, smoking man. Suddenly, like a whole like for effect, a bunch of penguins storm the area. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's some trash, a shopping cart, it's my kind of place. Hey buddy, I'm gonna go talk to the smoking man. What's up, smoking pal? Hey. Beat it! Looks like his face has been beaten a few times. More graffiti. I mean, this is art. Bruce, you gotta appreciate the art. A plaque. Let's look at that. Maybe uh, his dad's the penguin. <laughs> Cobblepot Park. Well, it isn't what it used to be. Rude. This place is nice. You just live in a mansion. You can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do wonder about his... I mean, his dad definitely looks like the penguin. At least how I think of a penguin. All right, time to look at the statue. I've looked at everything else. So here we go. Statue. Here we go. Time to look at the statue. Where's Oz? Oh, behind you, Bruce. Bat sits is tingling. Wallet cash. Oh, With what? This goes through you. You heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. The next one kills you. And him. What? Wait, I, hold on. You gotta let me. You said the next mistake. Gentlemen. I haven't made Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. You're the Boom! Come here! I think that'll do! Here we go. Phew! Oh, yeah. Let's finish these guys off. <laughs> Stay down! Oh, oh shit. shit. Nice. Oh, a gun. You think a gun's gonna stop me? <laughs> this used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Here we go. Whoa! Oh! He said stay down. Man, this guy's face. Oh. Oh, shit. Good job. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? Jeez, man. <laughs> oh. Hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Yeah, a little blood. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Hey, Thanks, Mom. Good as new. <laughs> Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. <laughs> oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce. I used to run around this place with back when it wasn't, you know, like this. We were smaller. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. Uh, just, just me. <laughs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. <laughs> Used to run in the same circles. We I did. laugh about it too. Hobnob and parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm, I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. 
Well, let's not leap to conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... Oh, dude, don't lose your drink. It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Well, maybe Batman Sorry, mate. could do something about this it. Sorry, you got a lot more grim than I planned. <laughs> Things are going to be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. <laughs> Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I've got great affection <laughs> for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. I'm on the Batman side. He'll protect all of us. So he brought you here to say, you, Bruce. But um, I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Like a penguin. Uh. So he brought you here to tell him. Tell, to tell you that he's gonna help destroy the city and <laughs> sucks to be you. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Also, he does not have an upper class British accent. He has a street urchin accent. Well, he's that's taking me out of the character. Well, he's kind of lived as a street urchin, so maybe. Yeah, but he was born wealthy. Unless he's. I don't know. Anyway. Accents can change. Why does he still have a British accent living in America for so long? I don't know. Or maybe he just came back. Maybe he maybe he was. I don't know this backstory. <laughs> they said he just came back. Maybe he was. Uh... Oh, is this my car? Who is this? Is this me? This better be me. Mr. Wayne, over here. Hell right yeah! Here. Drove my sports car. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce. Good morning. Be nice. Good morning, everyone. There we go, yeah. Be nice. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Alfred needs to talk to me. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking and worse still those who do get out or god forbid escape are even more dangerous than before they went in arkham asylum is a cancer on gotham <clears throat> but today with a sizable contribution from this man here we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility one that will improve the well-being of gotham and its citizens for years to come Yay. Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? So Alfred wants to talk to me. Um. My parents loved Gotham. They invested their I'll play blood, the parent angle. sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. Subtle, Bruce, subtle. That night, <laughs> yeah. my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Touching. The end. With this facility, and our next mayor, we change Gotham. 
<laughs> today. I seem to be lost in my head. On the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. <laughs> Everyone, clap, Quiet please. Quiet clapping. Clap, please. <laughs> I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Oh, Miss Vale. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? Uh, I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. Yeah. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Um. Nope. Uh. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. I don't yes, know. Sir. Next yeah, question, there, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. Yeah, for real. We're about the hospital, remember? Ignore the text. Here we go. Hospital time. <laughs> But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your oh, father, shit. Thomas <laughs> Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Oh my God. Care to comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Oh, did come you on. know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Damn it, I should have answered Would Alfred's call. Be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has Jesus. your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here I on out. I probably should have answered the office call. Try to keep this civilized. Damn it. <laughs> Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. What? Don't let him in. <laughs> Do they have a warrant? That we don't let him in. Did I piss off Falcone that much? Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. For what? For everything. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Damn Alfred, it. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. Man, what the hell? I guess I really pissed off Falcone. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill. Signed off on this himself. God damn it. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Because Hill I... knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. I mean, I still don't want you going through my personal shit. <laughs> Man, fuck off. Did you just... Did you just break? God damn it. Let me guess. A picture of me and my family. Who dimmed the lights? <laughs> Bruce, stay back! Take whatever you want! 
you. You don't have to do this. Damn. He did it anyway. Triggered hard. Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> oh, hey, a reporter. Bruce? Yay. I I didn't mean to interrupt, but This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. <laughs> now that you're here, yeah. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Mm. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. I'll say it's politically Hill motivated. wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, right. not wild sure. speculation. I'll give a quote. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. What do I say? What do I say? My family The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. If it's true. <laughs> yeah, who knows? And then Alfred's like, by I'm the way. beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. And then Alfred's like, uh, Mr. Wayne, you're... Your parents were <laughs> massively in crime. <laughs> no. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more of my videos. And if you want to find me on your favorite social network, check the links in the description. And here's Otto. <laughs> That's Egon. Those are my cats.